Hey guys, it's Rudy again coming at you with another review. Um, I am reviewing uh, Love, Death, and Robots. It is an, a freaking amazing show that's on Netflix. It's an anthology of 18 episodes. They're, it's not following like a, a series. It's a series of 18 episodes anthology, meaning it's like every episode is different story, different timeline, different runtime even. Um, it is... It was a. Uh, it's presented by Tim Miller and David Fincher. I want to immediately give this a 4.5 rating. I wanted to give it a 5.5 out of 5 if I could, but I just can't because even though the whole anthology is amazing, there are part like there are some of the episodes that I felt weren't really. They weren't fives out of fives. They were okay. They were, and eh, you can easily skip them. Um, but there are but. The three of my favorites that are in the anthology, actually one of them is very lighthearted, the other one is very good, and then the other one it kind of left me just like freaking out, like at the end I was like, whoa, it kind of blew my mind. I'm not going to tell you which one they are, but I will tell you, I'm not going to tell you which is which, but I will tell you the three that I'm talking about, which is Three Robots, Secret War, and uh, Aquila Rift. So if you go, like I said, go and watch that. Um, if you don't believe me, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 72, which is stupid because the audience score is a 91, uh, meaning don't care about Rotten Tomatoes uh, score because it's all about the audience score. I'm looking at you, The Last Jedi. Um, also, IMDb uh, gave it a 9 out of 10, which is uh, should be like a tell, tell, telltale sign that it is a freaking awesome show. I'm, I was very surprised that Netflix had the balls to put this on Netflix, but um, like literally speaking that they had the balls because it, the small disclaimer about this show is that it does have nudity and it has gore. Uh, love, death, and robots, it's gonna have gore. Um, but it is, I haven't seen something like this in a long time. So if you haven't seen it already, you should go watch it. It has great pop culture references it's just awesome it's awesome freaking show if you haven't seen it go watch it i sent you to netflix 4.5 out of 5 it's awesome go and watch it right now see you guys